What's up, everybody? What's up, Italians out there? We are here live. It is a little bit after six o'clock. Sorry for being late. Uh, had a few chatty Cathy's here, guys. You know, catching up. Who you calling Cathy? Chatty Chatterson's here. Um, but we are here. We're live, and we are in our living rooms or whatever rooms are safe rooms right now because of what's going on in this world. It is crazy out there right now. These are, I mean, let's call it what it is, dangerous times we're living in. I mean, we, this is a great start to, to the new year as far as what's happening. We're going to get into that a little bit. We're going to talk about our new year. We're going to talk about what we look forward to this year and uh, how we can have a better year 2021 than we had in 2020. We're going to get on all that. We're just going to kind of shoot the shit today, folks. So if you have something to say, you want to chime in, give us a, you know, give us a text. KC, text C, standing by to read those texts. If we like what we hear, we'll get it on the air. Remember, always, folks, you can catch all of our shows um, on YouTube, past episodes, past, present, and future episodes on YouTube. Um, you can always chime in to our some of the comments, some of the things we have to say on the underscore mentality underscore show. Uh, write that down if you need to. But let's get this thing started, gentlemen. How we doing? I got you. You got me. I'm your host. Delano, I got my man Vato V. One, two, three. So we, got, we got KC and Tech C. I need my check. <laughs> We're going to get into that. Take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, Settle down. down, son. You know what? Speaking of that, let's go ahead and get into it. KC didn't get his check and several million. No, 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 no. no. My check got sent. It's in someone else's account. I got a beautiful email saying, like, oh, you know, we made a mistake, player. Your shit somewhere else. It's gonna take us a couple of days to figure it out. What if that dude spent it on some a loose right. chick? Fire your some big hold diamonds. Up, man. Before, be before we get man, be, hold up, before we get started, I want to say this real quick. Happy motherfucking year, gentlemen. Happy motherfucking New Year, Mentalians. That's right. right. Twenty one, baby. Fuck yes. Twenty twenty one, baby. Happy New Year. That's right. Um, Talk to is it money? Uh, money. Uh, KC, do you have that check in your hand? Is that check in your account? No, I got an email about an hour ago stating that the government made this mistake and it got sent to the wrong account. I only got yes. one account. Where other account is that then? I'm a it got sent to St. Quentin. <laughs> you, sir. St. Quentin got it. Corporate. Corporate. You, sir, did not get your check, Uncle Sam. Hey, hey I got to be honest. I got to be honest. I got, I got, be honest, got, hey, I got that check. Hey, Delano. Casey. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go one at a time. We're all excited here in the new year. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, KC then Scully. What were you gonna say, KC? You gonna say fuck me? <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Delano, because you just happy because you got your check earlier than me. Because the last time you waited like three years to get your check, we was spending twelve hundred dollars. I was throwing it up in the air, nigga. You didn't even have your check yet. <laughs> Look at you, you just happy. That was twelve hundred dollars. Shit, fuck that. I need my money. <laughs> yeah. Scully, what, what about you? What were you about to say? Oh, I was just going to apologize to Casey because I got an extra 600 bucks and I already spent it on food. <laughs> dumb. No, he's dumb. <laughs> got that money. Got my check. Hey, you know what? I got, I got my money. I got my money at midnight on, on fucking uh, January 1st. New Year's Day. That was my lucky charm right there, I guess, because I got that money. I was like, oh, shit. I looked at my account. And I was like, fuck, I'm, I'm fucking rich with $600. Oh, yeah, Thank baby. You. Gonna be a great year, hey. 2021, until uh, April hit. Then that tax come in. Oh, yeah, that you ain't gonna be so great, right? I feel like, oh, uh, you made too much money, sir. You gotta pay. Fuck. <laughs> April first. April first. Let's see yeah. what they do this year. Let's see what they see what they do this year when it comes to taxes with all this craziness that's going on. Uh, Scully, Tech C, you got your money? Nope. Nope. Really? That's how they feel. Yeah. Hey, that's uh, that was child support money. That shit's gone already, so I'm good. <laughs> hey, let's let the people know. All of our audience is listening. We like to educate them how they can get their money. There's a there's a website they can go to to track their money. Correct? You guys know about that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's 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 tell our listeners what they can do because I got my money. I don't know what to do. But for those, oh, uh, he's guys, this motherfucker. Let me, let me mute myself so I can cuss his ass. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who do not get your money, how do you how how does one find their money? What website do they go to? IRS at IRS.org or some shit. I, I think that gov, IRS.gov, and then you could just see what's up, go to stimulus, and then you guys can check it out. 
Hey, just FYI, man, there's a fucking, uh, um, there's uh, uh, some kind of a letter that these uh, fuckers are sending out again as a scam. You know what I'm saying? That, uh, you know, you owe money. So and instead of making phone calls, now they're, now they're sending letters out. So be careful out there, mentalians. These motherfuckers are desperate, even... desperate times. Who, who hey. opens letters? Hey, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you guys later, man. I'll post it up for you guys. They're fucking sending these letters now stating that. I can't believe you know, people still scamming, huh? Hey. Oh, yeah. You'd that be is the Nigerians. Hey, I just I got a phone call uh, a couple of days ago from a Mexican number stating, "Hey, we got you know we got somebody here that's that's your family member and blah." Man, I say, "Man, kill the bitch." Click. That's <laughs> dope. You but, got that? That's awesome. Yeah, he's like, "Hey, we got somebody over here. We took him hostage, and this person and blah blah blah." And, and I was like, "Man, fuck yeah. that bitch." For real, the, the girl was the girl was crying on the phone. She was Ooh. crying on the phone. Oh my God, they took oh, me. That's yeah, we got, no. we got so-and-so here and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know what, homie? Kill the bitch. I don't know her. Fuck her. Click. I called my family oh, members. I was like, I wanted to make God. sure. I wanted to make sure that my family members were all right. So we're good. <laughs> well, I want that to happen, happen to me. Yeah. Yeah, V. Did, huh? they say, did they say the actual name of that family member? No, see, the thing is this, though. Like, they give you a call. And like, they say, for example, I call you. And, you know, hey, I'm, the, I'm the extortionist. I'm like, hey, you know what? Hey, uh, you know, I got I got your family member over here. And then they, you say, wait a minute, like, is this, you know, is this Vato V or something? And then, you know, it's like, yeah, I got Vato V over here on the, you know, blah, blah, blah. So that's how they get you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And you're so fucking like, oh, shit, what's going on here? You don't know what's the deal. So you got to be dumb as fuck. Like, hey, I got your family member. You have my hey, sister Teresa over there. Teresa's over there now. Like, I'll be like, put the phone up by her ear. I'm like, you stupid bitch. You didn't think I was going to get you. Yeah. He got you. <laughs> hey, but, you know what, but, but you got a lot of people you got a lot of people out there man that fought for that shit so you know unfortunately that's the way it works you know so what did i do I'd be I, like I, i'd be like you motherfuckers wait 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 wait. which one you got <laughs> i know which one is it hey, what I, are you gonna say I, I thought that liam neeson on him i'm a man of particular skills i will, <laughs> I will find you i will hunt you and i will, <laughs> you know just to just to be fun you know just to be funny they'll probably be like damn Okay, uh, okay, scam off, scam's over. Okay, so, you know, by the way, just to let you listeners know, there's a scam, not that I've tried this, but there's a back, back page West scam going on. What's back page? What is that? That's like, a, that's like a, a website you go to, like Craigslist or something, if you go to, if you're looking for a good time, you're trying to find a, a girl or something. How do you know this shit? Yeah. How do you know? I'm educated. <laughs> well, it, that, that was, sounds so that was, dirty. That was all in the news. If you go onto this website and you look on it, it's called Pornhub. That's what it's called, Pornhub. Right. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna hit you up and try to say something like, you know, you owe us money and we're gonna kill you and you wasted our time on the with one of my hoes or something or some some type of scam like that. So if you're uh, one of these losers out there on back page or bed page or whatever, then look out for that scam too. So why, they, <laughs> why are they losers? Um, well, I mean, if you look um, at the quiz, you're losing. Speaking of Pornhub, you guys haven't talked about how they had to take down more than half of their content. Right. Why? Oh, y'all didn't know? No. no. Oh, Pornhub got caught up in some... I'm taking advantage of a young girls thing. There was see, they what it is. People download, upload videos. Pornhub wasn't. They were, weren't checking the ages of the girls in these videos. Some of them was underage, so they had to take down everything that was not made by a major company. Oh, if you go on Pornhub now, it's weak, nigga. You gonna be like, oh, this is, oh, I'm out. Yeah, but doesn't 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 Pornhub doesn't Pornhub pay if you upload a video or something? Don't they pay you for that shit? That's what I'm saying. It gets deep, <laughs> but they're they they were balls trusting deep, the balls co- deep. God <laughs> damn, I hate when I do that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, they were trusting the content makers that they were these girls were of age. Turns out they had children on there. Damn, wow. porn have hard, porn in a lawsuit right now over the shit. Oh yeah, they that's um, that's bad. That's all bad for So porn. they took if you go in their content, they took down more than half they shit. I don't know about that, sir. Uh, I don't know about that site. I'm sorry. I'm Trust sorry. me. We <laughs> definitely we definitely they just have a porn hub expert it. in the group. Yes, we yeah. do. Who? That, Della, oh, that's major. <laughs> Look at Delano's face. He's like, I was just on it last night. I didn't know it was going to do. Delano, Delano's been. 
I'm sorry. Go ahead, Scott. Oh, I was just going to say you probably spend most of your time on Ass Hub. <laughs> That's the one. Ass Hub. That's the one. You don't know. You have no idea how old that ass is. So <laughs> good. Hey, KC, how did they find out that these were children being? I didn't. I don't know how they found out, but there's articles you can look it up and shit. You know, once I saw it was real, I was like, oh, wow. But it's porn, Pornhub is worried. They think they're going to they're not going to be able to bounce back. OK, so first, first, first Corona. Then you know the economy, and now Pornhub is gone. I mean, what kind of year? This is there. There, hey, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. So, so gentlemen, as I said, we're going to talk off the cuff today. What's on your minds? What's on your chest? What do you want to? What do you want to? Uh, you know, what's off my you? mind. What's bothering you right now? Oh, that's deep. You bother me. Oh, deep, bro. Deep. I'm not talking these dudes, mm -hmm. man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, um, well, you know, I know we don't really want to talk about politics, but you see this bullshit that's going on with these fucking uh, supporters, how they stormed into the Capitol, and now this one chick got shot and killed by, I think uh, it was killed. the state, the uh, Capitol Police that shot and killed this female because she tried to go into the Capitol. And they, they break in there, man. And one of the things that makes me fucking look at this country now is like now other people around the world are looking at the country like, these motherfuckers are stupid. And you know how fucking weak and how fucking vulnerable that makes, uh, uh, th you know, the capital obviously look like right now. Because if you have organized motherfuckers that are really going to go in there and, you know, take over the shit, they can. So this is just fucking unbelievable, man. V, she was shot by an actual uh, aide or guard? I think she was shot by... I, you know what? I, I I think she was shot by. She she got uh, shot by someone who worked for the building and carried yeah, the gun. Yeah, she got shot by one of the federal by, uh, okay. by federal police. Who shot the bitch? Yeah. Who, who shot her there? I thought it was one of the um, one of the, uh, the cops. Yeah, yeah I, I think it was. Yeah, it was one of the officers. One of the officers that, that works at the at the at the the Capitol House uh, shot and killed her. I bet she feels stupid as fuck right now. Got oh, her well, ass shot. She's dead. Hey, she's around. dead. She's what dead. So what is she doing? She she tried to break in like they were they were trying to breach the door and they broke the window and she tried to crawl into the through the window to the to the glass window and she just got they just dropped her dude boom gone I bet her friends I bet her friends who drove back home in the carpool feel stupid like damn we got Susie killed yeah. fucking around she didn't even want to come she didn't even want to come. Yeah. <laughs> Her That's boyfriend the... was yelling, we got an active shooter. We got an active shooter. No, yeah. your dumb ass is breaking and infiltrating yeah. the White House. If you break into uh, Scully's house, your ass is going to get got. So you think you can yeah, break don't... into the White House and not get shot? Come on. Come on. We got an active we shooter. <laughs> yeah, I when the revolution was... come, I'm at Scully's crib. Yeah, I thought it was kind of awesome. I love seeing, like, I know people that were there that shared photos. So I thought it was a huge piece of history that was fucking crazy and insane. It's always and it, was, yeah. <laughs> it was just a, a hand. It was, again, a handful of fuckheads. But I find it funny. I saw a lot of posts that said, oh, this stupid bitch got shot. And I'm thinking, how come when everybody else gets shot? And, I, and I'm, disclosure, I don't know who this person is. And I'm going to bring it up. What color was she? Why oh, now? Of course, that's why everybody. I knew it. I didn't even have to oh, ask. But of course, of course, that's that's obvious. She was a trumper. She was her right. She's yeah, not no, man, but no one cares. That's what I'm getting at. People got to stop <laughs> being so angry. Like Who if was it was angry? anybody it was else, right. you know why no one cares, Scully? Because they're breaking into the White House. That's why nobody gives. She was dumb. You don't break into the White House and bust windows out and not expect some some. That wasn't the White House. That was, was, was the Capitol building. It was a Capitol yeah, building. Capitol building, not the White House. Hey, yeah. Scully, you can't even go breaking down to the welfare office and not get shot. Don't go up there in the, the <laughs> Capitol <laughs> building. I'm just shot. saying because we witnessed all that fucking fuckery with all these people burning down, tearing down our fucking cities all last year, and everybody supported it. And you get one nobody, little fucking oh, 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 people. Whoa, nobody whoa. supported ter breaking buildings and burning buildings. Nobody supported that. Let's let's not say that. That's not. Well, they called it protests, and it wasn't. It yeah, was but they were, they, they were. Remember, they were protesting something else, though. It wasn't like she went out there because she don't believe the votes was real. Come on, well, now. I'm you not got sticking up for her. I mean, 
I would have loved to have been there, but I wouldn't have broke tried to break in there. I would have been, it, I would love to seen that shit in person. It actually looked like a good time. What I saw, they were sitting on the grass drinking beer with duck hunting hats on, and everybody was just holding flags. I'd have been right. a corner tongue kiss of some girl from Arizona. See, now, if you're out there, <laughs> if you're out there and you're just in the yard, you're outside the the Capitol and you're chilling and you're protesting. That's different. But when you start breaking shit and breaking into shit and infiltrating. Right. Your, your consequences are going to happen. That's the same way with Black Lives Matter. If you're out there protesting peacefully, that's different. But when you start burning buildings and doing stupid shit, and you get yeah, shot, burning buildings, yeah, you get stealing. shot. Black Lives Matter or White Lives Matter or Trumpers or whatever, consequences are going to happen. You don't break into people's property. You know. Hey, what is Can it? I ask what a question? That, what is that scene? You, you play, me? you play stupid, well, you play stupid, hard. you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That's okay. what happens. Okay. Let me um, now, did, did, did Trump have a speech and tell everybody to go down there? Uh, oh, this one, she's funny. This girl's funny. Put inside and they pushed me on and they maced me. Uh, <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. Why did you want to go in? Ooh. We're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. <laughs> That's why you asked out maced. I stormed the Capitol. They sprayed me. They shouldn't have done that. We should, we should be okay to storm the Capitol. Come on. Go. She said it. She you said it, it's a revolution. A revolution. You know, you know what's you know what's okay. funny is that these fuckers are trying to break into the most fucking secure places in the on the place on the face of the earth. Thank you. <laughs> what that's do you what think I'm is saying. gonna happen to you? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is they, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, what do you think? I mean, these are real guns, boo. Right, no, oh, somebody, lost their lives. somebody lost their life. We don't want to be disrespectful, but, but I mean, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing is, that's what's wrong is, with today's society. This is the thing, though. Somebody has to lose their life in order for people to understand what the fuck is going on. That happens all the time. These fuckers try to go in there thinking, okay, we're gonna do a revolution or whatever. But when somebody got fucking dropped, it's like, oh shit, like this shit is real. I'm not gonna win. And this is today's time when we tell everybody who gets a trophy, everybody gets a medal, everybody has an opinion. No one has to deal with the ramifications with the shit they do today. You could be on social media and tell someone, fuck you, you're a bitch. And then when she come and punch you in your face, you be like, I'm, what are you doing? You're crazy. You right, be, right. You gotta have manners. You gotta have respect for people. If there's a side that says on the wall, don't come in here because we'll shoot you. Don't break the window, boo. Don't. Right. right. I have to say, if it tells you, if it if it tells you, beware of the fucking dog, and your dumbass goes in there and you get bit by a fucking dog, you're the stupid one, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. But it's, you it's know what? Right. People, it is my right. It is my right. I. It is a revolution, so I can do this it's without a, consequences. Girl like, is it her? Oh, that's real. Everybody got real there, huh? Yeah. Let's that's let's real not. Bull hey, let's see the door. Oh! Right here. Look at the door right here to the left. She's right there. Boom, out. Oh. You see that? Oh. Hey, go ahead. I can't even tell what's going on. Got blown out of that window. I've seen her. i seen her. i seen her, though. i seen her head go down. Yeah. Yeah, it happens head. like that. She got blown it out of that window. It happens like that. Hey, it's let a me revolution. ask you. After she got shot, did anybody else enter that room? Fuck no. Nope. Exactly. The party was over, baby. This party, everybody's back in the grass drinking Coors Lights. Like, oh, we're back out of here. You got Natty Ice out of here. Fuck that. Hey, I'm recording this, too, because the next time I bring up guns, dude, y'all better be on this same page. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you mean, This Scully? is common sense. Scully, you, it is. Not, not, Scully, you wouldn't have been breaking those windows down there. You'd have been like, you motherfuckers nah, are crazy. You know what? Let's keep it real. It doesn't matter which side people want to support, political party, whatever. There's always the extremists. Like, there's always thousands and thousands of people there and just a handful of fucking idiots. And the, yep. and the news focuses on I wouldn't even call her extremist. Idiots. She's not right. an extremist. She's privileged. That's what she was. She felt like, oh, I have the right to go break this window. I'm getting in here. I'm going to say what I want. Pop! Oh, party's over, everybody. Just wrap it up. Let's go. Yeah, that ain't no patriot. That's an idiot, dude. Like, it's, it's a revolution. Idiot. Scully, I Scully, agree with you. Scully, Scully, the girl who said they were storming the Capitol for, because it's a revolution, is she an idiot? Yep. Well, I yeah, want to absolutely. Of course she is. Okay. okay. Hey, hey, Scully, you do with the revolution, dude. I tell you what, though, people keep fucking around. It's going to happen, dude. Oh, yeah. Hey, Scully, I agree with that. You know, we shouldn't. Scully, you if they were scared. smart, they should have been stealing ATMs. Did you guys know that they, that Twitter <laughs> blocked the 
Trump's account because of the shit he was saying that, you know, they said that he's inciting people to do that shit, so. Yeah, but, but they do it to him every week. They hate Trump. Twitter right, hates he Trump. didn't, dude. I've watched that shit. He told everyone, I fucking cussed out loud, dude. I was sitting at my desk, just took a moment because everyone said, Todd, did you see what's going on? I'm like, let me look. And it was a speech by Trump. And, and he said, go home. And I went, fuck you. Did that after. And everyone looked. <laughs> He I'm like, what do you mean go home? Just because a handful of fucking idiots did not stupid a handful. shit. That, that wasn't a handful, Scully. That was hundreds of people infiltrating the Capitol. Not just a handful. A handful is one, two, three, four, five, maybe 10. There, there wasn't was hundreds. In, there was thousands of people there, but only a handful people. of them fucking did stupid oh, shit. Oh, not just a handful of people trying to get into the White House. You had hundreds not of people. Not the White House, fool. It was a Capitol. Yeah, uh, Capitol. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> You had hundreds of people trying to get into the uh, Capitol. I saw young, fat neckbeards trying to push their way through. That's what I saw. I, so I don't know. There were hundreds. It yeah, was I'm watching. Uh, as we speak, I'm watching uh, like CNN right now, and they're doing some kind of something in the in the in the Capitol building. And you see, you see the windows in the background broken, like just all fucked up. So <laughs> that is crazy, man. <laughs> never happened before. That is domestic terrorism at its best. Uh, just because they're Americans, I mean, it's domestic. It happened here. You cannot break into a government building for whatever reason. It's just, you just don't do it. Well, um, the dirtbags, did they did it all last year. Every All kinds of cities broke into government buildings, fucked up police stations. They, it, it's been happening, dude. This is not, yeah, yeah, fucking. That's domestic terror. You, you, you see what they did, too. They, they, they called the, uh, the uh, National Guard immediately and shut that shit down. Oh. Uh, it took this time they declined it. To respond to this. What? This time, the, this time the National Guard, the Defense Department declined it. Yeah, of course. Of course. It was only in Portland. And in LA, we weren't breaking the government bills. We were taking Oxycontins. We were breaking into CVS and the Rite Aids. That's what we were doing. <laughs> Portland, HM, Seattle, HM, Minneapolis. HM, yeah. Not we, not we. I just mean our area. <laughs> we got to look good in LA. So we were breaking into malls and getting clothes. And yeah, shoes. we're getting Gucci. Right. <laughs> They, 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 they were. My take neutral. on it is uh, these government so called elective <laughs> representatives might want to start doing their fucking job before shit gets worse. Agree. That's a good point. Now, Scully, this is what I, we got to stop talking about the far left and the far right. What about the nice, beautiful people in the right. middle? Everybody who's in the middle. We are the real people. Right. I'm not no extremist. We're, none of us are extremists. We don't, we're not, we just want to have this nice little bubble and. I feel like we're we're getting a ripple effect from extremists. Like, you know, what the fuck? I'm in the middle. I'm purple. Well, you got extreme, you know, progressives, and you have the, you know, extreme uh, right. What is a progressive? Right. I don't even know what that means. You, you, those are people like Alexander Ocasio Cortez, the ones who want to just give. Just hey, Alexander, give, get like, at me. Let's Sanders. smoke one. Bernie Sanders. He's Bernie Sanders. He's a, he's a progressive. All right. Just hey, Scully, so, I'll do her. I would, yeah, if you fuck her and left her, maybe, but I wouldn't <laughs> fuck her with that? your dick. <laughs> I fuck she, she, she's Boy, a, she's only like, a rock star if you use my dick. She's only like 29, right? 29? She's like the youngest senator ever. Scully, I bet, I I bet that, that shit look, I bet that looks like flat meat already. <laughs> oh, you're wrong. That's because she's a progressive. That's why she, he said. She's doing Pilates, dude. She's on it. <laughs> If she was all, if I'm hitting her off, I'm like, a lover. Boy was. Scully got a little tax problem. I need you to take care of this boo. My boy, I'm, <laughs> we're gonna take care of this for him, right? That's how I would do it. Like, don't worry about it, Scully. You cool? We got it. She gonna, she gonna write up an amendment <laughs> for your ass. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. You know, Biden's in the middle. He's a, he's in the middle. He's right there in the middle of all that stuff. So he's not a progressive. He's not an alt right. He's right there. In I the feel middle. like he's gonna have a stroke. I uh, hey, hey. looks like a stroke or an aneurysm. <laughs> yeah, you know. In the brain. Y'all gonna be mad yeah. when the Jamaican girl president. Speaking of aneurysm, <laughs> speaking of aneurysms. Oh yeah, know, Dr. Dre's Dr. Dre. wife. Dr. Dre had an aneurysm. Uh he's recovering in the hospital hey, right now. Hey, he was he I, was at the hospital <laughs> doing some uh some some medical procedures and then he had the aneurysm there. No, no the aneurysm is the chick says she can't live off 300 grand a month. Oh, that'll do it. That was the stress, stressful part. 300,000. She needs to get spit on. 
Her first name is Ann and last name is Rizzo. So um, Scully, she she asked for two point five million a month. The court said, "No, wait a minute, you're crazy." Here's three hundred grand. She's upset. That, my friend, is an automatic aneurysm. <laughs> I agree. That sounds like an automatic bullet. Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre is Does Dre got money like that? Dr. Dre. Yeah, he sold the beats. Hey, that Dr. Dre is worth. Dr. Dre is worth a billion. He's a billionaire, so you know, he's up there. Master P bought Reebok for 2.2 2.2 billion today. Did you hear that? Shit. Master P got money like that? What? I did not know that. I'm never wearing Reeboks again though, because he's gonna <laughs> make that shit so ghetto and ugly. I didn't know. Man, man. I stopped wearing Reeboks in the '80s when the leg warmers went out. <laughs> <laughs> That's LA gears. You were wearing LA gears, nigga. Oh yeah, hey, I used to have LA gear with the two fucking uh, two. Uh, no, you two did lists. not. You had LA gears. <laughs> I did. <laughs> hey man, when I was growing up, I used to wear pro wings, man, because I never, you know, I did yeah, all the dude. I used to wear dude, pro wings. Dude, I had vans, chucks, and pro wings. And every time I say pro wings, everyone's like, what the fuck is that? No. Nah. That was at Payless, bitch. Chucks. That was yep, for us poor yeah, people. Hey, Converse, hey, Converse started off in fucking Payless too. And then they moved up. They moved out yeah, to uh, the to, cheapest to, fucking shoes out there back then. Huh? I said Converse were cheap back then. Now they're like six dollars. Fuck yeah! I remember I used to buy I used to buy Converse for like the Chucks. I used to buy the Chucks for like it was like I think uh, like 15, 16 bucks. Man, I was yep. like, shit, I was poor. You know hey, what I'm saying? Know, what did they wear in Arkansas? What kind of shoes y'all wore in Arkansas? Do you know what shoes were when you were a kid? Cowboy wore socks. So, um, <laughs> pro wings. Pro wings was something that was uh that was a cheap shoe considered a cheap shoe. I used to That's I used right. to. I used to sport those when I was younger. I thought I was something sweet. Pro wing yeah. and parachute pants. Pro wings and parachute. Oh yeah, and some Kmart flip flops. <laughs> yep. The champions. I sport Kmart. I couldn't even. Hey, champions. Kmart. Hey, the champions used to be in fucking uh, at a playlist, man. I used yeah. to buy the champions yeah. too, man. Damn. Champions is expensive now. Yeah, oh, fucking yeah, they are. Vans came out too. Vans were also in fucking playlist too. I used to buy I the Vans for twelve bucks, ten bucks, oh, and then they moved up. You know, I used to be a skater, surfer kid. Because I grew up in a little bit in Orange County. I, I learned how to surf, skateboard. I was a dude. Hey, dude. Go to the comedy, just go ride some pools, dude. So y'all wear that in Jamaica, too? Okay. <laughs> y'all had, like... Nah, Jamaica, we just strictly Nikes and Puma. Nikes hey, Pumas, and... too. Hey, weren't the Pumas also in... Uh, Pumas were also in uh, Payless, because I, I remember that shit. Oh, nigga, watch your mouth. Pumas <laughs> in <on> Payless. <laughs> Hey, I grew up on government cheese and pro wings, baby. So what the fuck? Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> and the cheese came out of used pro wings. There you go. <laughs> that was a that was a glue that used to glue the fucking shoes for the for the pro right. wings. Government That's cheese takes fuck. so long to melt. Hey, but that shit was the fucking best fucking cheese. Am I not right? He was locked up. Too. Constipation, big time. Hey, not anymore. <laughs> still have that? The blocks, the big blocks. They still have that. The big no, the everything's on EBT now. You, EBT, you can get brew, you can get rent DVDs. Oh yeah, yeah. Rent um, DVDs. I don't know. I was guessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could buy everything. You could buy everything in the store except I think. Uh, Damn, I think I'm not beer. reading nothing. I think beer. <laughs> you can't buy beer or fucking uh, some other bullshit. I don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah, I don't agree with that, dude. They didn't put me in charge of that bullshit, dude. You get a fucking job or you get government cheese. Well, Fuck they're yeah. going to have uh, a lot of people. I, I want my check, though. Fuck that. I want my check, too. Well, speaking of checks, here's another subject. So, it's and politics. So, as we know, uh, there was a runoff in Georgia where you had two Republicans and two Democrats running against each other. And in order. Whoever won uh, that runoff, that would decide the majority party in uh, the Senate. Okay, so apparently two Democrats won. So now Democrats they will have the majority in the Senate. That's going to make Chuck Schumer the uh, majority leader, and that's going to put Mitch McConnell as the minority. Uh, so he, he will not have as much power anymore. And speaking of that. If Democrats get into the into the um, well, these two Democrats they got into the Senate. So now Biden and Democrats can do what they've been trying to do, and that's give Americans more money. We're talking that two thousand dollar check. These two thousand dollar checks now. So 
Uh, it may take a while, of course, but the Democrats, they've been trying to- What? Wait a minute, tell me about, tell me about. we getting 2,000? They've been trying to issue $2,000 checks. about to flip that. They've been no, trying you to- You got that wrong, now. bro. Yeah, that's not, that's not, that's not gonna happen though. That's not and gonna happen. Trump was the one that wanted the two grand. Yeah. Like, Trump, yeah, yeah. But the Republicans, Trump, yeah, Trump, but the Republicans shut him down, Mitch McConnell. So no, then, no, no, Mitch, no, no, Mitch McConnell shut him down because uh, what happened he was- He waited too the, long. Yeah, the Democrats, the Democrats wanted some other shit. And also the Republicans wanted to send money, or not the Republicans, but they wanted to send some money out to, uh, to foreign countries, you know, and uh, some kind of, I don't know what kind of billions of dollars they wanted to send out there and shit. Well, so Mitch yeah. McConnell's like, well, fuck, no, this is not going to happen. So obviously he cock blocked it. But the Democrats hey. and the Republicans, they agreed 600 bucks. They're not going to send, Trump is the one that wanted 2,000. They're not okay, going to send so, that shit out. So, so, okay, so months and months ago, the Democrats approved this $2,000 stimulus check. But the Republicans brought that shit down to $1,200, okay. The House of Representatives with Nancy Pelosi, they've been pushing this $2,000 check deal, okay. But Trump and uh, the Republicans, they shut that shit down and made it $1,200. Then just recently with this new stimulus package, um, uh, the Republican, I'm sorry, the Democrats still wanted to push that $2,000 but they all agreed once you add all that shit together and all the other stipulations to $600. That's what they agreed. The Democrats wanted 2000. Okay. So then Trump comes out and says, look, that's not enough money for Americans. They should get $2,000, whatever his agenda was. And uh, Mitch McConnell and the, uh, uh, the Senate shut that down because they didn't want to do that originally. And also the other stipulations. But now if the Democrats end up running the Senate, they can basically run amok and do whatever, you know, I'm not gonna say do whatever they wanna do, but they can definitely get this $2,000 uh, stimulus. Uh, or this is gonna be more Priuses on the street. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, that, that's, not, that's not what it is, man. They didn't want to, no, $2,000 was, was uh, you know how the people were getting $600 a week for the, for the what is that shit called? For the unemployment, which came out to what, 20 something hundred dollars a month. Yeah, they wanted dirt, to give dirt bag pay. Yeah, they wanted to. They, what they wanted to do is they wanted to do two thousand dollars a month, not uh, what is it? Fucking whatever the fuck is twenty four hundred, whatever the fuck they got during the month. They didn't want twenty four hundred dollars. Okay. They wanted okay. to give two thousand. They wanted to give two thousand dollars a month for right, the right. for the unemployment. So it's five hundred. They wanted to give five hundred dollars uh, a week, not not six hundred. So that's what they wanted to. They wanted to balance it out, not two thousand. This, this recent stimulus package, the Democrats have been trying to get. That's why they didn't get it approved. Well, that's one of the reasons why they didn't get it approved earlier. It's because the Democrats wanted to give everybody a 2K, a $2,000 uh, mm -hmm. check and not, you know, this $600 check. But the Republicans weren't in agreement with that. So they all agreed to $600. Hey, Biden, Biden even said, if, I'm a, if we can get these, you know, we can get the House to approve this, I want to give people $2,000 checks as well. So now hey. Biden and the Democrats are, you know, well, the Democrats are gonna be the majority and Biden is gonna be able to get this stuff pushed through because this is what the Democrats wanted anyway. Scully. No, that, that's hey, not. Bro. Someone named Michael Neal says he's, he's impressed that you can read Delano. Someone named Michael Neal says he's impressed that you can read. I don't know who that is. <laughs> sounds like some retard somewhere. Uh, Michael Neal. That name sounds retarded to me, Michael Neal. I'm sorry, I don't know. Who All that. I know is, this is, this, is, this is real homeboy talk right now. Mike Pence need to get on the phone with Trump. Like, nigga, why did you play me like that in front of everybody, man? You played me like a man. bitch, man. You, you did man. me so wrong in front of everybody. They need to put fight. They should be. We need to fight because you put me on the. You put me on the spot. He did. <laughs> he did. Mike Pence stepped up though. Mike Pence stepped up and said he's not going to do it. He's not going to fall for that. He's not going to. Because his wife was in his ear. He's a tough yeah. one. He's a godly man, right? We're not going to. We're going to do what the American people need. We we're going to give the. This is my Mike Pence interpret or impression we're going to do what the american people want we're going to give you a beast <laughs> yeah he's trying to get you know, his, mike pence will be nothing without me he wouldn't be vice president if it weren't for me so just because you pick him as your vice president you think he's gonna yeah hey, well boy, he yeah. fucking he fucking he he this is everybody that doesn't is not with him so he this pants he this fucking bar you know so come on people like they should get it together like fucking dumbass so, man. Are, that's a writer dude 
Trump's a writer. He don't play. If you don't stick with the program, you out. That's fired. Boom. Out. Hey, let's get up. Hey, let's get up of politics, man. Here's a question that that I got from a from a from a fan, from a viewer. Uh, oh yeah, I love these. Okay, so this is a question, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go off fuck politics for now. Fuck whatever happens. It is what it is. I still want to talk. Uh, politics. So okay. she asked. This is a female who asked, "Is it okay if you're if, obviously when when somebody's engaged? Is it okay for the female to keep the ring if they broke up, or should she get oh, it back?" Oh no. No, she didn't pay for it. Depends. It, it depends how much you hate the bitch, though. Yeah. No, fuck that. We done. Give me that back. Nah. I need that back. If Run that back. Had, if she breaks up, she should give it back. Hey, I agree. How about if she cheats on you? What? What? What was? She's, the yeah. <laughs> Don't give it back. Don't coming with it. <laughs> Still give it back so we could give it to someone else or or hawk that fucker. <laughs> what, what That's when you hit it with. It's fake anyway. It's yeah. fake. Is this supposed to be three months worth of your of your salary? That's a lot of money. It was just ten carat coated. Why she can't cook? Most people aren't gonna. She can't wash a cook. They get three months of my salary. Most yeah, people aren't gonna be. Three, most people aren't gonna spend three months of their salary on a ring these days. It's gonna be. Hey, this is gonna be six. This is gonna be three months of my stimulus check. So we're good. Hey, Let's do it. I'm buying like six hundred dollars. Hey, we're all politics. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. So she wants to keep the ring. No, the question is: Should a should a should a female? It's just a general question. She's like, should a female yeah. keep the ring if the relationship is over, or the engagement oh. ring? If the relationship is over? Well, the female's the gonna say, yeah, I think it's nice if I keep it, and the men are gonna be like, I need that, run that back, because I gotta go. I got to, I gotta go put that on the car payment. <laughs> I agree, but see, here's the thing, though. I think it's like a whatever the fuck you did. Obviously, if the, if the dude cheats and shit, and fuck it. But if she cheats. It is what it is. But there's a lot of females out there that do some fucking shady shit. And it's like, they want that fucking ring. And once they get that fucking ring, they say, fuck you. They keep the ring. They go pawn the shit and they go fuck around. So, you know, that's the way it goes, man. Right. Man, you know, like, not, uh, I'll say that I agree with that. I was going to say that I like the fucker. You know me. I like to shoot my mouth off. But really and truly, if I had to make an actual, like, try and be an adult, I would say that if the guy was the one that fucked up, went out and cheated, did something horribly wrong, then go ahead and fucking keep it. But if it's on you and you made the decision to fucking leave, give the thing back. What are you going to do with it, bitch? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Like, why do and you then want it? you tell her, I, I bought that ring in the same place in the middle of the mall where it said cases for the phone. That's how I got the ring from. It's not even real. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Back in the box. Excuse me, man. How yeah, I many cases thought about buying a ring at the, at, when he was buying a case for his phone? <laughs> no, yeah, probably probably had, yeah. You have to turn that dial. I was like, damn, this look real. Like you put the coins in and then you turn it and it drops out. And it sounds like V has had bad experience with women. <laughs> Dude, I've done some shady shit to get coochie. Like what? Like what? Tell us about it. Yeah. Like go to um, <laughs> well, I, I I did. I saw this. I wrote a I wrote a, a girl this Prince lyric, and I said, "Oh yeah, I wrote this. It's a Prince song. I know she didn't know it." I said, "I wrote this," and she's like, "Oh my!" She cried. Oh God, he loves it. Then a beat, then a beat. It was out. That's, and then she, that's, she, genius. that's genius. That's not shady. You probably, you probably that's shady you probably, though. Girl, as dumb as that one chick said, it was a revolution. Yeah. <laughs> if she was cute enough, I would date a revolution girl. One of them hippie types. I like those. She'll fucking she'll shoot she'll fucking With storm your armpits. House. She'll storm your house and take over. Harry armpits. <laughs> Will she cook cooch? Go to go to yeah, a Black cooch. Lives Matter uh uh protest and hit on a white girl and then watch her. You did, that's what I would do. I and would do that. She'll be like, I'm sorry, I don't date black guys. <laughs> You're at a Black Lives Matter event. Come on. <laughs> So I like, couldn't go to no black matter, black matter. It's, too, it's too heavy. <laughs> She's like, Black Lives Matter, but I don't date them. What the fuck? <laughs> that was a good what one, dude. I almost, I almost snorted. <laughs> what what you odds, got? Dude? What are the odds of that shit, dude? Like, fuck, you over there trying to go to a Black Lives Matter fucking protest, and she still don't fucking get, they still don't get no ass. <laughs> that's Man, that's rough. I hate niggers, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Black Lives Matter event. Come on. Like, oh, what? shit. Um, Sorry, I don't think just... Mexicans. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, this is Black Lives Matter, not Mexican Lives Matter. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, black Mexicans, you know, you already know the deal. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, how about if you're dying, they tell the ambulance drivers, like, if they're going to die, leave them there. Just oh, sleep yeah. them there. Don't worry about it. How bad it is in That's California. crazy. Yeah. That's if, happened. If they're, dying, if they're dying, leave them there, or if they're about to die. If, they're, if, they're, if, they're, if they don't have a chance, if, if they don't have a chance, do not transport them to the hospital. Yep. So that means that means the 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 paramedic drivers now get to decide whether you live or not. Right. Oh, you read my. You're you're a beautiful man. They make <laughs> they make ten bucks an hour just to decide your fate. To play God, yeah. Can all you right, imagine? All right, all right. Is this only involving Corona? Or is this any other incident? Anything. This is the situation anything. in the world right now. That's what's, what's going, going on, on in the world, world right, right now. And they no, I mean, like, if you have a heart attack, what? Let's say you're dying of an aneurysm, and they're yeah. like, oh, you're you can't, gonna die. they can't you're take you. If you die, if you're gonna die. They, they can't take you. If you if you cut your leg off and you're bleeding out, and they say, ah, oh, you know, by the time we get to the hospital, he's gonna be dead. Oh, just just can't waste the resources. They can't waste the resources. You're gonna die anyway. So they leave with his mom. money. Like like Dr. Dre and you have an aneurysm, you're you're good. So if you uh let's say you're driving your car and you have a car accident and you need to go to the hospital, they're just gonna leave you there if they see that you may they die. They think you're gonna die. Damn, Scully. Tech C. Right, man. Tech. You guys make ten dollars an hour to decide your life, the fate of your life. Wow. Right. You know what? Hey, I, I just I just listened to a interview and then I followed up with it because I go down rabbit holes. I have to verify it in different locations what in la right now dude it sounds like they're fucked dude they're 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 buying they're trying to rent uh refrigerated trailers oh yeah um, my boy he works for the health department he ordered them right here Derek. yeah yeah he right them. right and dude if if someone dies in your home right now they're not going anywhere man you they, you have to figure out how to keep the body cool because they don't have anywhere in la to put them right now Shit, we driving them down to the beach and throwing them off the pier. <laughs> right, that's old school, bro. Put them, I got wrap them in the truck. Put them in the truck and uh, see if we can sell some, sell them for some good pound of meat. <laughs> you can solve a lot of problems at the pier. <laughs> Go fishing. <laughs> you get the. Yeah, what are they gonna say? What are they gonna say? That's against the law. Fuck out of it. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, there's a lot of crazy shit going on right now in this fucking world, man. And fucking. Well, you, that means what? That means you be walking down the street. With your girl holding hands, you walk through an alley, it could be some dead bodies in the alley, some corona bodies. That they we are so exposed as a country right now. We are, we are like a third real country right now. It's bad, man. It's fucking bad. It's fucking, it's, it's, you, who, who would have thought we would have seen some shit like this in our fucking lifetime, man? But we think that this is the, this is the greatest country in the world and make America great again. And this is fucking country's fucking crumbling right now. Unbelievable. Camera. Are we well? The only thing is crumbling us is the COVID. If it wasn't the COVID, we'd be still like, oh well, who cares? I'm the Rams play tomorrow. Right. It was sailing before that bullshit. COVID, COVID is fucking is a hater. COVID exposed <laughs> us. Oh. COVID exposed America's weaknesses. Man, we're not this strong. You yeah. know the new the new mu mu mutated strain is amongst us now. Yeah. What? She's from England. It's over here now. Yep. It's more yeah. more contagious. And they're saying that they don't know how the vaccines are, or, you know, are inviting. Yeah, they said that they're going to tweak the vaccines a little bit. Uh-oh, and that's just when we're going to start growing hey, the extra nose. I got some news. Um, somebody in my distant family, uh, in-laws, somebody in their relations got, there's a nurse, and they got it, they got vaccinated, and they tested positive, just, I guess, just the other day. Oh really? Or, or they, they, they've been vaccinated and they still tested positive. Well, they only got one shot though, right? I don't know so how many still, shots. Man. I don't know how many shots, but they got they got they got the vaccination. Probably just the first one, yeah. 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 So the thing is that the first one is the one that it's like I think it just covers you like forty percent or fifty percent, right. so and then once you you bad. get the second once you get the second dose is like you're 95. supposed to be like ninety. This is what you got to do? Wow. Drink a lot of whiskey daily. Um, do smoke herbs daily. <laughs> um, make some bad decisions. Don't tell the fam, and then that's how you get rid of COVID, bro. I'm telling you, I do it every day. I get rid of COVID every day. Hey, you know what? Um, this is yeah, you've been around this. Hey, but hey, I'll bullshit. I've been this. tested four times. Yeah, you're like a COVID connoisseur. Amazon's dropping them off to your house now, so you might just order them a bunch of them. <laughs> uh, you can order them too. I heard they can do it. do a home one, can't you? A Amazon's selling them now. What if you do a COVID thing and it says you're pregnant? Like, 
I'm a man. What happened? I don't get it. What's going on? <laughs> You're positive and pregnant. Oh. That's funny, Casey. That's funny. Hey, Casey's being funny today. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Delano, thank you. I don't need you to tell me I'm funny, Delano. <laughs> We tell you you're funny. <laughs> not only am I funny, but I'm the president, damn it. No, that was, I approve He looked like he was at the, the march with that hat, though. Oh. No, I was there hitting, hitting on white girls. That turned me down, because, you know, I'm black. I'm sorry, you're black. I'm I thought sorry. you were in love <laughs> two weeks ago. Hey, you know you know a black man is some real pimping if he can pull some white girls at a Trump at a Trump event. He can get to go to I would Trump ra- I would be a superstar at a Trump event. Hey, you know what? The only way you're gonna make that happen is to have a white beard. <laughs> no, dude. Oh, look. I would be a superstar at a Trump event. I know it. Trump Trump would be like, hey, there's my black What's guy. A white beard. My black guy. I love him. I love him. So that's the only way okay. white women will love him. Oh, he's the black guy that Trump always talks about in his <laughs> and if it works, it works. Hey. So, um, <clears throat> Delano, since you're not in love anymore, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> he is in love, man. He won't. He won't even take my calls no more. Oh, that's oh, really, up, bro. You're that's like a bad up. band member. You can't just he get a girlfriend you. and just None just he pants like you. Exactly. None he pants people. you. Yep. That's a pants. It's that's a pants move point. right there. Yep. He, I, I take. I take. I talked to Alex today, so that's not true. And nobody you know what, anything. Tech? When he needs you to bail him out of the situation, just be like, uh-uh. Nope, not today. Yeah. <laughs> I just said that because I, I didn't want to talk to him. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, uh, I'm in love, so I can't answer the phone. <laughs> I'm sir, I'm in love, sir. I'm in love. <laughs> you're, you're dirty. You you are a low, you like Slither. You ever seen the movie Slither with a snail? You, Delano, you. Uh, <laughs> you. Help me move move a couch, uh, sir. I'm in love. I I, I don't do that. So I can't do it right now. He's like, how many times you been in love this year? I am not in love. What are y'all talking about? I, I said nothing about you, being in love. You had pictures of feet. We were looking at feet. <laughs> Those are his what? feet. Those uh, are his feet. Oh, <laughs> Those are his he feet. said what? <laughs> he said what? You know how many feet I've taken pictures of? <laughs> Those are his. Those were his his own feet. Oh, you are low. <laughs> Speaking of feet, tell him what you told me today. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, we haven't, ba, ba, we haven't ba, talked. I'm in love. Remember, we haven't talked. I'm in love. Oh, oh, was, was that is that top secret or what? You're gonna change the subject. You're gonna change the subject. He, had, he, the subject. Had, his feet done. he had his feet done. Do it. Oh, that's cool. He talks shit. Cool. No, he talk doesn't he talk shit though about it. Right. He talk shit about it. I didn't pay yeah. to have my feet done. I don't. I didn't get pedicures and all that stuff. You know. You said you got your feet done, you little bitch. Listen, dog, let me tell you something. I'm into pedicures and manis because I'm into licking toes and I'm into all that shit. So I, you know what I'm saying? Those are crusty, though. Is... Oh, well, that's, that's a shame. KC's toes, he's from Jamaica, so you know he got crusty toes. <laughs> wow. no Live in Jamaica and not have come from Jamaica. How not... dare you? First of all, Jamaicans have beautiful feet because we're in the sand and exfoliate. It takes off all that dry skin, my nigga. It's okay, <laughs> I have beautiful feet. I have immaculate feet. Girls look at my feet like, oh, you got pretty feet. I'm like, put your tongue down there. Wow. Hey, throw one of those feet up, bro. Let's see one of them. I got to oh. take off shit. No, I'm, not, I'm drunk. I'm old. I'm like 49. <laughs> I'm not doing that right now. I'm like, I'm... Hey, feet are beautiful, First of all, I don't need to impress none of y'all. Well, I don't care what y'all think about my feet. Yeah, I got ugly feet. Okay. Said it. Hey, I thought it was snowing the other day. That was just KC's foot flakes, man. Coming. <laughs> don't, don't, guys, don't laugh and support that. He got a beard. KC got a beard on his feet. <laughs> hey, shit's dry right now. I took my shirt off the other day and it snowed. <laughs> yeah, man, you are full of flakes, man. Uh, so, uh, what else? What else? What else <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I got great feet though. Seriously, I have some no, bitches calling you. But no, feet. So all of our Italians out there, we're gonna have a female come on the show and she's gonna judge our feet. We should have a foot contest. Who has the the best looking feet? We should do that. That should be fun. We'll bring Rosie on. She'll see, that's her. weird. That's kind of weird, dude. I'm not. I'm out. I'm out. I don't no, care. Ah, uh, see, you've been talking about your feet. Mind. Every time we want you to show us your feet, you got an excuse. We'll just do a show from a nail salon. And, and this is the first time we ever talked about feet. Oh, let's do a show at the nail salon. That'd be great. Do a show from a nail salon with Kobe yeah. going on? Yeah. Not right now, when, when we can. Uh, Isn't that crazy? 
with COVID going on? No, I'm not going. <laughs> your feet. Hey man, my boy feet. lives. Go ahead. Your feet. You from Jamaica? Your feet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she turns. She turns Casey down. I not do your feet. I don't do your feet. Your, you got Jamaica wow, feet. Wow, really, Tech? <laughs> co-signing? It's a co-sign right here. Okay. Uh, Tech, I know your care. shit look like. Your feet fucking fucking looking like fucking uh, Vienna sausages, Tech. I don't even trip off. You got these little fat fucking hairy ass feet. I already know what your feet look like. Your feet look like a Raider game. I guarantee it. Fuck <laughs> that shit. Raider game. Uh, hey, Casey, I'm not a hater, man. One love, bro. Just bring the blunts. Your feet can look whatever they want to look like. Thank you, my my kind friend. Bato, what's your feet look man, like? Man, my shit is getting worse. My hair is receding back. Yeah, I meant to tell you, your hair is receding. I meant to tell you that like eight years ago. I don't see any hair. <laughs> what Take your hand off, Delano. Hey. I'm a man, dog. I don't. My feet are fucked up, so. I don't know. Your fucking head looks. When he was ten. Your head looks like Saturn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is glowing. Oh, looks like a fucking cone head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a tall forehead. My KC's head is more round. Mine is more. Hey, angry. you look like exactly like a eraser on top of my pencil. That's what yeah, you look like. Head. You don't have dream. You don't have uh, dreams. He has movies. <laughs> yeah, Mike Epps. He took that joke from Mike Epps. That's I'm all right. Doesn't, doesn't Saturn have a ring around it? Yeah. Right, exactly. You need, you need 3D glasses to look at your fucking head. Look at that shit. It's all it's types of dimensions called, in your shit. It has a ring. It's called ringworm. <laughs> all right, let's leave him alone because I don't want no emotional breakdowns. I can't deal with that tonight. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, now everybody I'm seems good tonight. We, we all had the same drugs, I guess. I don't know. We all worked and worked with kids. Ringworm is an ugly fucking thing. I had that motherfucker, dude. I could tell you, man. Oh I my knew god, you I'm a survivor. I seen this one kid had it so bad in his head. I was like, Jesus Christ, look at your head. I get the fuck away from me too. <laughs> I was like, get over there. <laughs> get, get your get your ring hurting head out of here, motherfucker. <laughs> what what is it what is it like right now? Like working with like group homes and shit with COVID. It's gotta be nuts. Well, uh, recently the guy got uh, killed in a group home. Oh uh, no! They jumped him. Six kids beat him, killed him. Seven. A group home here in uh, here in uh, L.A. area. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. In the company. In a group home, you only he's make like fifteen dollars an hour. So that means. And he's supposed to have two staff for every staff for every three kids. Yeah, you lost your life over a thirteen dollar an hour job. Fuck that. How does he get beat up by seven kids? Where's the rest of the staff? Short staff, man. There, but well, you know what? And they they want to shut down juvenile halls. They want to yeah. close them. Well, and what are they gonna do with these bad little motherfuckers? I don't want to run run around my neighborhood. Give them, give them the 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 fucking experience, you know, the Disneyland experience, uh, and put them in a mental health or. Let's not uh, let's not shut down jails, people. Jails well, are needed. The, hey, well, the it, it's it's uh it's it's actually happening right now. So what it is like the county already voted for uh, the county supervisor oh, board. Oh God. Already voted that uh, they're gonna shut them down. They're gonna turn them into mental right. mental facility. Year, I got to so shoot a little. I got to shoot the some the sixteen year old. So year. It's gonna be some. You know, obviously the ones that committed the heinous crimes are gonna be incarcerated. But the thing is, this they're not gonna be charged as adults anymore. They're gonna be charged as minors. So, you know, if you kill somebody at the age of 16, 15, whatever, you're gonna be coming out when you're like twenty five years old. So, you know, well, they're not even coming soft. Look, even this fucking new DA coming in saying he's not gonna charge. Fucking uh, all these, he has a oh. list of charges he's not going to charge for. And minors, you, you could kill somebody, he's not going to charge you as a. The OGs are going to get some 17 year old yeah. to kill somebody and take the rap. He'll be he out here. Not in jail in five years or whatever. And that's how that's going to go. They were kind of doing we, that. Doing that they were doing that back in the day. That's why they, that's why they came up with the charging as adults because that's what. Yeah, that's, what, that's, yeah, exactly. This whole shit. This whole shit is like, it's a fucking circle, man. It's a cycle that already happened. This shit already happened before, you know, all these motherfuckers started killing young. They, they were killing young. They couldn't charge them as adults. So they just gave them juvenile life, which is 20. They go up to 25 years and they come out. They fucking do the same bullshit again. They, they have 25, whatever the fuck. They, they give them, they give them a, a, you know, a fucking short <laughs> sentence. How the fuck is it that you can, you kill a family member and you come out when you're 25 years old? Like, what the fuck? Like, are you kidding me right now? Like, nah, man. I don't agree with that shit, dude. Uh, that's just personally, but it is what it is. I though. really, really believe they should. When you're crazy and you kill like five people, and you just crazy. I think they should 
feed you to sharks and put it on pay per view. That way, another criminal will be like, I don't want to get fed to no motherfucking shark. That looks painful. That looks <laughs> terrible. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Feed them to tigers. Don't just right. let a nigga sit in death Society row for says, 50 years. Society says, oh, they're just kids. Oh, they're just young. Oh, they, no. they, they didn't uh-uh. mean to do it. They didn't mean to see, do but it. But that, that's the thing. See, the, the, see look, we, we know the deal because because of our because of our career. But a lot of people don't see what we see. And it's like, you know, they don't see the law enforcement side of it. And it's it's just like... No, it's, it's a revolution, them people. It's a revolution. No, exactly. that, that's the thing. The thing is that they don't see what we see. And the problem is that we can't talk about it simply because, like, because of because we're on one side of the law, you know what I mean? Um, but we see it on a daily basis, and it's it's a it's a thing that, you know, what? How do you explain this to a to a family member, to the victim's family? It's like, hey, well, you know, this kid is, yeah, we arrested that, we arrested this person. This person killed your family member or raped your family member, but they're gonna be out in a specific amount of time. It's like, fuck, like, are you kidding me right now? That's so then it's gonna it's gonna treat tr- justice, dude. Where, where people are just gonna have people killed. You know? That's that's right. exactly what that's there exactly what I was gonna that's exactly where I was gonna go. You know, people are gonna start just like know, the cat, just like you said, the cat that got released recently, he was on he was on a little movie and he and he he, he got like 180 years of life or some shit like that, just got released because because of the, the bills are were, were turned around and he got released after like 10 years, right? Or something like that. Less than that. It was less than about to, yeah. So they gave him 106, they gave him 180 years to life in prison. And, and got, this what is the kid, years for? And this guy got released it means never get after to 10 years. Now you gotta understand this person shot up this person. Yeah, you know, I get it. Bible street, whatever the fuck they are, they're gang members. But this person shot inside a vehicle and he paralyzed the female, and she's gonna be paralyzed for the rest of her life. So they gave this dude 160 some years in prison. But since he had there's advocates out there and bills out there, now he's out, and it's like, what the fuck? Like what the fuck happened there with justice? Like, how do you, how are you as a, as a victim gonna feel when you know you're, you're fucking uh, uh, the suspect that did that to you? How the fuck are you gonna feel? Like, fuck, like, it's, that's kind of like a betrayal kind of shit. So I don't know where the fuck society's going with this shit. I see no, you know what? I'll tell you, where it's fucking, I'll tell you where it's fucking going. There fuck it is. That. You know what? If, I'm a fan of paying you're, taxes. You're weird. I'm a go fan ahead, of ahead, paying ahead. taxes. To keep those motherfuckers in jail. But I can tell you one thing. If someone hurts any of my fucking friends or family, I will never press charges. Oh. I want them out so we can deal with them accordingly. Scully, are you going to do that for me? I'm just- yeah. <laughs> Listen, Scully. Hey, I was anyone say that. who's in my circle, dude, you fuck with me or my family. Yeah, I'm yeah. Blood clot. Let blow, them blow, out. Blow, blow, blow. Let the people <laughs> deal with them. Bumble of clutch. That's how my family is, Scully. That's how my family is. Oh, you kill him? Oh, don't worry about it. We'll go get that. <laughs> hey, just chill. Chill. We'll get you. Oh, bo, 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 bumble clutch. Bo. <laughs> no, it you won't even, even know be like that, dude. It'll be a slow. I should just shut up, dude. You'd be duct taping <laughs> a you'd be hey, you'd be duct taping the back of the van. Hey, hey, Scully, they track the shit that you see on the internet. You better watch it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, that's hey, what dude. I mean, once they get arrested and thrown in jail, they're taken care of. They got free room and board, everything. Let them out and let the family members and free friends. Free house for the cut. Yeah. Cut. All right. So before we end this thing, we do a thing uh, called the Scully Red Rent. And oh boy, we have a lot to talk about. He's going to break down all of his frustrations that he's Not had all of them. in the year 2020. So... Before we let him do this, the views and opinions <laughs> does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions expressed by the rest of us on this show. Viewer <laughs> discretion, we don't give a fuck. So, before we I'll get to it, Scully, red rant. All right, you know what? I don't even give a fuck anymore. Check this out, bitches. We just went through 20 fucking 20. We've been through shit that we never thought we'd ever fucking witness in our fucking lives. You know what? But we did it. We saw it. We fucking lived it. It's still going on. A lot of people think that, oh, it's 2021. It's flowers and roses and rainbows and unicorns. Ah, no, it's not. It's still going to fucking continue. But you know what? The, the fucking shock and awe is done, dude. So you know what? Bring it on, 2021. Let's do this, motherfucker. Let's change our lives. Let's take a different fucking 
look at things. Let's have a good fucking time and bring it on, bitches. If you want to bring on some sort of violent fucking bullshit, fucking try and lay down unconstitutional laws, fucking bring it. We don't care anymore. People, that's the new normal. That is the new normal. We don't give a fuck. Bring it. We're going to fucking nail it. We're going to party and we're going to fuck you up if you have any fucking negative fucking result to our life. You fuck with our lives, we're going to fuck you up. You understand? Just stop it. <laughs> stop being negative. Just end it. You, fuck you. If you're fucking pissed off, you could go hide in the corner and be pissed off. You fuck up our lives, we're fucking you up. We're done. 2021? I feel like throwing all my shit on the floor right now. Yeah, just throw it down there because fuck them, dude. We're done That's now. That's what I'm talking about, Scully. We've had it. We've, we've been through it. We don't care anymore. Yes! Fuck you. Hey, we're going to fucking do us, all right? Oh, it's true. And I'm myself, but you know what? Fuck off. 2020 was shit. It was. It's not the year. It was us being shocked by what the fuck was going on. We're no longer shocked. We're going to fucking deal with it accordingly now, all right? <laughs> And if you try to fuck us over, be careful. We're watching. 2020, the year of fuckery. Hey, Scully, I need you to talk to me every morning, man. And they get, that shit gets to be amped. I'm ready to do some shit right now. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, dude. We're not putting up with this shit anymore, man. There's yeah, some nah. bad shit, and there's some fuckery. Hey, if you want to condone lights, go blow up a Prius. <laughs> Well, there you heard it. Any last words, gentlemen, of uh, about Scully's uh, red rant or anything? Hey, else? Again, we, we don't we don't condone violence, but we don't give a fuck, so it's okay. Hey, <laughs> you know what? We will answer violence with violence, though, because we'll deal we with you accordingly. Right went out the window a long time ago, so <laughs> we, well, this show oh, went crazy. This is a thug edition. Yeah, no, we're we're not putting up with it anymore, dude. You, <laughs> we're gonna give it right back to everyone who fucked us over in 2020. Ow! Hey, listen, First they'll one. know you got to do a shot next show. Yes. Spice it up. Once we'll you do a shot and do the show. He's going to uh, spit it out. Hey, <laughs> just, get some, just get some Bartles and James or something. Hey, the, minute he, the minute that shit touches his tongue, he's going to say he's drunk. I need to see this. <laughs> I need to see it. It's 2021. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, you need to have a drink. You need to have a spirit. Start drinking. Life's too short, bro. What if Bato B does it? I'll do it if Bato V does it. Bato V drinks every... What are you talking about? He, Bato v does not drink. he does not We'll drink. all do the same shot together. How about that? Bato V pretends like he drinks, but he does not drink. He pretends <laughs> to drink. I know him. Hold on. I drink more mean? than you, motherfucker, so we're not going to go there. That's like a shirty, cop move. Shirty, shirty, virgin, virgin, shirty temples don't count. <laughs> <laughs> you don't drink as much as you come across, though. I, I, I know you. I, I know you drink. Doesn't matter. You don't know my past. <laughs> you don't know my drink. What's the name? Hey, you don't know me. All right, that is our show. Wait, no, it's not the show. Let's let's wait, wait, wait. I'm going with uh, Casey. We need to pick a drink, and we're all taking a shot together. Yes. See how he's trying to get out of it. That's not happening. Let's give him. Let's give him something that it's not going to be too sweet. Give him. He's going to. He's going to say. He's going to show you a bottle of vodka and it's going to be water in that motherfucker. That's what he's going to do. Well, you can oh, we used to do that in the college. Yeah, together. that's a good idea, V. That's a good idea. Okay, let's drink. Let's drink. <laughs> All right. So everybody pick bourbon whiskey and uh, let's do it. Okay, bourbon whiskey, uh, old uh, Pepsi. I'm going to go to his house. I'm going to Delano's. Uh, I am not trying to get Corona flaky feet virus at all. <laughs> Casey. Don't know. Okay. I'm going to sit across the room. I, I take a test that day, and I hate taking a test. I take a test that day. Um, to come over you? there. Are your feet going to get tested? <laughs> what? Do you want to see my feet? Hey, hey, What's up? Guy. What are you into? What All are right, you I'm into, Z? Not. How about this? Hey. Whoever loses the, oh, uh, there's Ryan. There's little man. There's little right. man. Got a lot of hair. We can't see a lot it. of hair now. Take, lower your camera. We can't see him. Hey, go right, pick dude. him up. What's hey, up, go, big guy? guy? Hey, happy. Hey, by the way, happy birthday to the little guy, man. Yeah, hey, birthday. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. You're one? one. Wow. One years old. He don't have nothing to do with it. Little boy is getting big, man. Getting big. Yeah. 
what is he going to be into? Like, what kind of social media technology are they going to have when he's 16? Imagine his pops is already fucking, he's a tech guy. Imagine what his kid's going to be like. Damn. Imagine what sex is going to be like when he's our age. You can just fuck up. What? You can just put shit on your head and pretend like you're fucking the most beautiful woman in the world. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. Virtual (laughs) Virtual fucking? Virtual reality. Demolition Man, where they both didn't have to touch each other, but they put the shit on their head and it was like they were fucking. Hey, that's just, hey, you already know, you already know that shit's going to happen. You already know. They already have these fucking uh, realistic dolls. You think they're not going to have this shit later on in life and shit when we're dead and shit? You know what? No, let's say they have that shit where you don't even have to touch the female. I bet you it's going to be some, some hard up females out there or some females out there who ain't going to want to give you the pussy. Right. No, I'm not. uh -uh. Wait a minute. (laughs) Even through the technology, they won't? Exactly. <laughs> Shelly, That's take funny. it out. Play a game of well, I need my, I need my money back. Back corner of Spencer's. Hey, you're gonna get, you're gonna get fucking, uh, you're gonna get a turn down virtually. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey man, I love you guys. I gotta go eat. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Me too. All right, folks. That is our show. Thank you for joining us from Vato V, Tech C, Scully, Scully. KC, and your boy, your boy D, and we got Ryan in the house. We're gonna say. Have a great day. Remember in life, you're good, but with our help, you could be the best. best. And it's a revolution. Be safe. (laughs) Vamos.